fire and fury author disputes Trump, says he absolutely spoke to the president. President Donald Trump and the White House are standing by their assertion that author Michael Wolff had little real access to the president and are disputing explosive details in the writer's fire and fury inside the Trump White House, though with one fairly specific qualifier. On Twitter last night, Trump claimed he never spoke to Wolf for the book which he said is full of lies, misrepresentations and sources that don't exist. He lashed out again in a tweet this morning, referring to this phony book. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said at Thursday's press briefing that Wolf made at least two dozen requests for an interview with the president which were never granted. He never discussed this book with the president, Sanders said. Wolf said in an interview this morning, however, that he absolutely spoke to the president and that he stands by his reporting in the book. Whether he realized it was an interview or not, I don't know, Wolf said of the president on NBC News Today Show. But it certainly was not off the record. The author said he spent three hours with Trump including over the course of the campaign and in the White House after the inauguration. My window into Donald Trump is pretty significant, Wolf said. Wolf also said he has recordings and notes of his interviews but would not say whether he plans to release them. The White House press secretary countered Wolf's claims after his interview Friday. We said Wolf and Trump spoke once by the phone for a few minutes, but it wasn't about the book, Sanders said on Fox News on Friday morning. They had a very short conversation, but he never interviewed the president about